Hello, my name is Gabriel Henrique and I'm going to talk about a multi-objective optimization approach to manufacturing as a service in industry 4.0. Firstly, I will talk about the context of the project and its methodology. Then I will talk about the experimental results and research features. Finally, I will be talking about a use case, a conclusion, and I will be opening the time for questions. My research was carried out during an internship at the Leeds Laboratory at Insaruan for the Halfback project. This work has received funding from Interreg Upper Rhine European Regional Development Fund uh, and Ministries for Research for baden württemberg rheinland pfalz on Germany and from the Grand East French region in the framework of the Science Offensive uh, Upper Rhine Halfback Project. The Halfback Project aims at improving the competitiveness of manufacturing SMEs along the River Rhine by their networking with this innovative approach of manufacturing as a service. Machine footprints are aggregated in the cloud and registered at a high availability machine broker, which allows it to offer the machine as a service to other companies. In case of unavoidable machine failure, the halfback software can then use this broker to search for an adequate machine replacement to shift production to another factory. My goal within the project is to help the companies to quickly choose a particular resource in the cloud by developing an algorithm to find the best group of machines in the cloud for a given criteria. It is easy to see that the concept of the best machine should not consist of a criterion, but a group of criteria which reflects in a case of multi-objective optimization problem, which focus on finding the maximum or minimum possible values for different objectives represented by functions as the small f's in equation 1. All grouped in what is called a fitness function represented by the big F and in our case the X is a machine footprint and S the set of footprints in the cloud. The scalar concept of optimality does not apply directly in the multi-objective framework. Here, the notion of Pareto optimality has to be introduced. To better understand, we can show each footprint in an n-dimensional representation. The best set of machines that's called the Pareto front is a set whose non-element has all the criteria better than another element of the same set. And every element that is not in the set has at least one element that is equal or better in our criteria in relation to him in the Pareto front. It is easy to analyze the Pareto front when there are only two or three criteria to evaluate, but when there are more than three dimensions, it is needed to have some metrics to evaluate if the optimization algorithm finds the real Pareto front. Two different types of metrics were used in these works. Metrics that analyze the Pareto front found by the algorithm with the real Pareto front, in the case of specific benchmarks being used, and metrics that compare the different found Pareto fronts among each other. For the first type of metric, two metrics were chosen. Convergence, where the smaller the value of this indicator is, the closer the front is to the optimal one, and the diversity, where the smaller the value of this indicator is, the better the found front uh, represents the optimal one. For the second type of metric, the hypervolume was chosen. In a case of multi minimization, the lower the value of the hypervolume, the better the front compared to the others. For our first analysis of possible optimization algorithms that could be used for the broker, we decided to work on some benchmarks published in the literature. One of the most well known is the ZDT1, whose equation is being shown. In our case, as we work with a set of defined machines and not a continuous space, we take only 100 points of the Pareto front and mix it with a set of 
10,000 random points that we call fake points. We choose a set of multi-objective optimization algorithms and save the average results of 30 runs of each algorithm on the data set. With these results, we can see that the first two methods in the list below are better than the others. Below, we have a box plot of the results, confirming once again that not only are the two best methods better in relation to the metrics described earlier, but the execution time is also short, which is necessary for the project. The best methods are both genetic algorithms. These are simple algorithms that are based on the principles of natural selection, where we have a population where each individual has a fitness value, and for each generation, a selection method based on the fitness function will be performed. Then the best individuals are mixed to generate children who have parental qualities. And for principles of exploitation, a possible mutation is in some new individuals is performed. Thanks to this simple methodology, we have both exploration and exploitation. And it provides a result more quickly than other more complex methods as shown in the previous box plot. Here we see the result of the two tested algorithms. For SPA2, we can see that it finds less points, but they are better spaced than NASGA2. This indicates that SPA2 can provide a more concise number of machines, but with more different criteria values from each other, while NASGA2 provides more options, but some machines with closer criteria values. To conclude with the experiment, the non-dominated sort and ranking algorithm was tested as well. This algorithm is able to find not only the best front, but also the secondary fronts, providing customers with more options. In fact, NASGA2 implements the same algorithm in the process. The difference is that the NASGA2 works with a defined number of individuals per a defined number of iterations, regardless of the size of the dataset, while the non-dominated sorting ranking works with the entire dataset, which makes it much slower than the NASGA for datasets of more than 10,000 machines with several criteria being analyzed. However, the non-dominated sorting ranking gives the real fronts, while the NASGA 2 provides approximations of 10. A very important piece of information to be processed by the broker is the availability. Because the dates when the user company needs the machine will not necessarily be the dates on which the machines will be available. It is needed to define an indicator to evaluate this availability based on some kind of temporal logic. Allen's logic describes a temporal representation that takes the notion of time intervals as a primitive and gives a method of representing the relationships between two of them. This logic represents ways in which an ordered pair of time intervals can be related. Suppose that X is the period of time that the company needs the machine and Y is the period of time that the machine will be available. If we ignore the cause and consequence relationships, according to Allen's logic, we will have the relationships marked in red, where the time periods do not meet, meet or overlap. At this point, it is clear that there is a need to measure this time correlation in some way, and that the value of this measure must be included in the Pareto front calculation. For this, the temporal overlap coefficient, or TOC, was formulated. According to the equation, we can see in the image below how this coefficient works. If TOC is equal to 1, the machine is available as long as the user company needs it. If TOC is between 0 and 1, the machine is only available part of the time. Finally, the lower the value of TOC is, the further away the machine's availability date is from the date the user company needs it. It is also easy to conclude that the optimization algorithm must seek to maximize such a coefficient that will be calculated when the company enters period X. An application on several artificially generated machine data has been done. The machine database is composed of 5,000 different footprints. 
For each machine, the following attributes were considered. Availability, supplier company reputation, evaluated from 1 to 5 stars. Cost of renting, age of the machine, and the distance from the user company to the supplier company. The type of the needed machine, such as milling machine or coiling machine, as well as the lower and upper limits of the values of the attributes, are used to filter the database before performing the optimization algorithm to simulate what the client companies do in their search. In our case, we implemented the selected algorithms from the experimentation and we run them on this new database. Following the same mathematical formulation mentioned before, from the attributes of each footprint, the ones that will be chosen as optimization criteria are the top and the number of the stars to maximize and the cost, age and distance to minimize. From the 5000 machines, after filtering by machine type and by machine value limits, we ended up with a database of 870 machines. Uh, here in the representation, the X are the parameters that the company enters at the time of the research, while the Y are footprints of the set of filtered machines. Before executing the selected algorithms, a pretreatment is performed, meaning what it consists of the distance between the client company and the machines using geographic coordinates, and in relation to the dates, using the temporal overlap coefficient mentioned before. These data are all added in the Y matrix and the selected algorithms are then executed. Along with SPA2 and NASGA2, a non-dominated sort and ranking was performed to obtain the real fronts that would be used for convergence and diversity calculations. At the end of the research, for comparison purposes, the NASGA tree was also implemented, which is a variant of the NASGA 2 that is supposed to be more robust for larger numbers of criteria. But at the end, NASGA 2 and NASGA 3 have very close results, and they had better results than the ones of SPA2. The results of the optimization are shown to the client company in a scatter plot, such as the one in show here. The access to plot can be chosen by the co client company, in this case, the talk and the cost. For aesthetic principles 2, the results are shown on a map, where the purple dot is where the client company is located, and in blue, the Pareto front machines. This research proposes a multi-criteria optimization algorithm as part of the machine broker software that we will propose available machines for taking over the production of the user companies in the next work who are unable to continue or finalize a production order due to unforeseen difficulties. The major contribution of the research is an extensive state of the art on existing methods on multi-criteria optimization algorithms for the new paradigm of manufacturing as a service. The link to the state-of-the-art codes can be found in the footnote. From within this state-of-the-art, it was observed that the genetic algorithms proved to be a good approach to find the set of best machines by verifying a criterion, and the talk is a good tool for managing time problems. Finally, this approach is being tested on real data from the Halfback project and it will be implemented in the final deliverable version of the project. Thank you very much for your attention. And now it is the time for the questions.